Melvindale police officer under investigation tonight accused of hitting a tow truck driver, then leaving the scene. Jermont Terry is live in Taylor where it all happened. Jermont. Karen, now that tow truck driver was on a service call here along Allen Road when he says that cop hit him. Now, even though other people told the driver that he caused an accident, the cop kept on driving. And when the tow driver, tow driver actually looked at the cop, he discovered that he knew him. Apparently, get this, five years ago, he dated the cop's daughter. John Cosmetes is a little stiff after a frightening ordeal on the job. I can't go out on the road. I can't drive. While on a service call on Allen Road near North Line in Taylor, John tried to get two lanes of traffic to stop. As I turn around, this vehicle starts moving and strikes my leg, which caused me to spin. My back hit his mirror. But the man driving the SUV forced to stop at a red light. I take a picture of his plate. While I'm doing that, the other vehicle who also stopped next to him is yelling at him saying, hey, you just hit that kid, you need to stop. By the time John gets to the window, he proceeded to say F you and drove off. Our concern is that, um, you know, we have somebody leaving the scene. Local 4 has learned that driver is a sergeant with the Melvindale Police Department. As you know, an officer of the law, he should know better. He was not on duty at the time and denies what John and witnesses told Taylor police. His account was that he did not initially know that he struck someone. Despite the open investigation, that sergeant remains on the job in Melvindale, and the chief in Melvindale has not opened an internal investigation, even though he's aware of the hit and run probe involving his officer. Would you launch an investigation? What would be your protocol? We would absolutely launch an internal investigation, and we would work very closely with the other agency that is involved. Now, Taylor police were able to track down the Melvindale officer thanks to that picture that John snapped. Now, we should point out the cops showed up to the police station and Taylor several hours after this alleged hit and run took place. We are not naming him tonight because he has not been officially charged, but we do know that Taylor police has turned over its case to the prosecutor's office. For now, reporting live in Taylor, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Now, Jermont, you mentioned John dated the officer's daughter. So does he believe that had anything to do with this hit and run? He, he doesn't. He said he actually ended that relationship five years ago, and it was not a bad relationship. He knew the guy. He was just surprised that when he looked at the driver that it was the, his ex-girlfriend's father. Hmm. So he's trying to figure out, was it a motive? He doesn't know. But, of course, the Taylor police investigating that aspect as well tonight, Karen. All right. We know you'll stay on top of it. Thank you, Jermont.